All right, welcome to a special edition of the Utopian Baseball Universe. Uh, we've got a very special guest tonight. Uh, it's a takeover. You can you can see that within the comments. I've got Will Button from Mets Extremists. Now, uh, I have told many, many people that this is my favorite Mets-themed group on Facebook. And I have Will here tonight to tell you guys why uh, this is my favorite. Uh, so Will's going to talk about the group. I'll, I'll ask him a couple questions to get you guys familiar with uh, how it's different. Will, thanks for being here tonight. Hey, Joey. Thanks for having me on. Uh, so I joined Mets Extremist a couple months back and instantly uh, started uh, posting content. And what I like about your group, and, and I mentioned this actually on my show last night, you guys are the first thing I do in the morning after I shower and breakfast is I choose my hitter. Yeah. I choose, uh, you know, how many, how many strikeouts the pitcher is going to get, uh, who's going to take the series, but yes. tell, us, uh, tell us about the group. Tell us how you guys are different. Uh, how long you've been a Mets fan, where you're coming to us tonight from just, uh, tell us a little bit about the group. All right. So about me, um, I was born in Brooklyn, raised out in Queens. Um, then I moved to Atlanta Unfortunately, no. Um, since 2014, and still kept my Mets extremists going. Um, well, not mine. It's Trisha O'Reilly's Mets extremists, but I help her run it along with Travis, Rodney, um, Chuck, and Tom. That's the other admins that within the group. Um, shout out to them. Yeah. But yeah, how we um how we're different from every other group is we don't tolerate the you could say the negative BS like that a lot of Mets fans have I guess to take out their frustrations but we let you guys take out we let them take out frustrations but not to the point where you're bashing a player negatively or wishing injury upon a player that's the no go we don't do that and um so that's why would you want to do that but um other than that we do games called K Corner the breakdown um, run scores, hits contests. We also got Beat the Streak, which everybody's very popular one. Um, we also got a New York Groove um, sports chat where every game, instead of just commenting, having a lot of comments going through the page, everybody just comment in that one um, section of the during game time so that we keep everything in one section everything's not a mess not all over the place we try to keep it organized a lot we've been doing this for about almost since 2015 was the inaugural season the season we actually went to the world series me and trisha we um predicted it in spring training that we would go to the world series and we did and we was like so ecstatic about that we went crazy and then um ever since then it's just been a blast running the whole page I have to say, uh, my favorite part of the group is if someone does get out of line, I like how quickly Trisha will say, this is a positive group, guys. Come on, read the rules, <laughs> figure it out. Yeah, yeah, we give, we give a shit about that. But <laughs> we, we, try to keep a, we try to keep it positive. There's a lot of positive fans out there. We want to keep it good for them. We don't, we don't like when people say – uh, F, they need to fire Rojas already. And, uh, like, why? We're in first place. We got the best team, probably one of the best teams in, the, in all of Major League Baseball with the situation that we're in now with, like, I think 13, 14 players on the injured list now. Got a 3K back last week. It's like, what is there com to complain about? Stop it. Like, yeah, and, and so that's the thing I've never understood. I mean, like, we are basically playing with uh... – uh, a triple A lineup right now. We've got a three and a half team lead on the Braves. Like mm -hmm. Fire Rojas, like he's the manager of the year right now, in my opinion. Right now, yeah, I totally believe in that. Yeah, definitely. Like it's crazy to me that they would even think that. I don't know. But we try to we try to take the naysayers out um without being like, you know, running a dictatorship, which people started saying early in the season, but we we don't do that. We let you guys do we let them do whatever they want, but just don't get out of line with other members like calling them names and we're not kids here we're not babysitting thing. yeah we x that out real quick like be be mature be be an adult yeah i mean i i have 
you know, my, my group size is smaller. I've got about 950 or so, but uh, I had uh, an issue earlier in the spring where uh, one guy was bullying the other and then he went back at him and then they both got banned by Facebook. Like there was like an actual, yeah, we're, threat. Yeah, we're trying to avoid that. Like that's crazy. Like, Facebook has to get involved. It's like, we're not little kids. Like just be mature. Like yeah. don't start name calling when you don't, when you can't get your name across that, name calling okay that's cool that's cool oh mommy yes yes waffles okay that's my little son four-year-old he loves waffles just got out the bath what does he like better waffles or the mess waffles right now 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 <laughs> Yeah, when I was, even though I became a Mets fan at, um, since 85, when I was four, because I just loved the names, Daryl Strawberry, Hojo, um, we'll see, yeah, Doc, like Doc. names like that, it's attracted me, you know, like, I was like, little kid, like hearing those names was like, okay, I can get with this team. And then the colors, which you can see in the background, like, yeah. it was just attracted to a, to a kid like me who loved baseball, so. Yeah. And That's I love the fact that, you know, the team goes back to 1962 and they have, you know, every every now and then they'll introduce like an alternate jersey or whatever, but the logo has stayed the same, the color scheme has stayed the same. Yes. Um, I, I always joke like, well, you know, people say you should get a tattoo. The second I get the tattoo, they're going to change the colors to like purple and <laughs> green or I something. Hope, I, I would hope, man. They better keep this for eternity. <laughs> Can't go wrong with these colors. Tell uh, tell the group now. Uh, we we have a lot of Mets fans in this group. Tell uh, any prospective people that want to join more about these daily games because I love that. I truly, you know, I told Trisha a couple nights ago that really is the first thing I do in the morning is choose yeah. my hitter, my strikeouts. But how how do the games work? Uh, can someone like join now and uh, still and jump right in? Oh yeah, most definitely. Um, so we have about let me see. One, two, three, four, four games, four live games that we have. They actually, you could actually win money off it. Like we come out of our own pockets to give out gift cards, transfer money to any account that you want if you're the winner. Like we actually do this out of our pockets just to um, keep the group, keep the group going, and just keep it fun, you know, throughout the whole season. And um, if you join the group right now, you can jump right into these contests. Right now, some have a big lead because they've been playing since the beginning of the season, but sure. you can just jump right in, just have fun with it, see how it goes, see the standings. I post my standings at least once at the end of every month. Like, my next one will probably be in two, three weeks when I post the standings, but it's a close race right now with about three people at the top. Um, um, the Which one? Beat the streak. That's guessing how many consecutive hits you can get. Um, just pick a player, pick your player for the day in the lineup, and if you keep going, like you could go, go, you yourself can go on a 13 game hitting streak. No matter who, what player you pick, you pick McCann for seven days and then pick um, Alonzo for the next 13 days, and you'll be on that same streak if they keep hitting. It's up to them. That's the gamble. And then you got K Corner, you guess how many strikeouts the, the starting pitcher gets. Um, right now, we're doing the stand. We keep up updating the stands for that, but it's kind of complicated. So bear with us, but we're getting it done. And um, run scores and hits contest is you get you guess the runs and the hits for the both teams, and um, Rodney does the standings for that. Um, but yeah, you could just jump right into these um, games. It's easy. Cool. It's all right. Well, I, I know I brought in a couple people in the last uh, uh, day or two, so I'm going to continue to do that. Um, after we go off the air in a couple minutes, there's going to be a link within the page for Mets Extremist. Um, okay. uh, Will Button, Trisha O'Reilly are both members of the group, uh, the Utopian Baseball Universe. Uh, I, I wouldn't say this if I didn't mean it. You guys have to check this out. Hi. Hey. Uh, How are you? I'm cool. I heard you like uh, waffles. 
Ah, he's scared now. Well, he said waffles. He's like, wait a minute. Let's go. I can move. Hold on. Okay. What you were saying? Sorry about that. I, I was saying, I'm, I'm telling the people in the group, if you're a Mets fan, you have to join this group tonight. I'm gonna put. I'm, I'm gonna post a, a link to Mets Extremist. Okay. Um, I'm gonna tag. Uh, probably tag Will and Trish on it. Say hi to them. Uh, this truly is my favorite Mets themed group in all of Facebook. I spend more thank time you. within this group than I do my own. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> um, Trish, can I just say one more thing before we go? Of course. Um, Trisha will probably kill me if I don't mention this. We also have our own shirts that she just designed. Got it done. I forgot um, the crew that made it for us. Sorry about that, but we do have our own Mets extreme shirts. So, out. so on the page. Yes. And I'm gonna be I'm gonna be ordering one very soon. Actually, so the link to buy these shirts is on the Mets Extremist page. Yes, yes. Just hit up Trisha. We have a link on the page um, where you can go get the shirt. And yeah, definitely. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna post a link to that page today. Uh, I'm not gonna call out people individually because you know they know who they are. But if you're a Mets yes. fan uh, and you want to join a a great group on Facebook, go to Mets Extremists on Facebook. Uh, I've been talking with Will Button, uh, a member of the Utopian Baseball Universe. Uh, Will, anything else you want to add tonight? Um, we love all our followers. All the followers of the next stream, extremist page. Uh, we treat it like a family over there. It's very tight knitted, very close. Um, I've known a, a few of these guys for like the past four or five years, and I've grown relationships with them outside of um, this page. And we've grown great friendships on Facebook and meeting up to go to games. And I, one of one of the guys, Eric Newman, he's going to be best man at my wedding. One of the groomsmen at my wedding. Like it's gonna like that's how close we've gotten. Like it's a very tight knit group, and we just love all our members except for the little negative Nancys out there. We're at war with them right now, the trolls in the group. But other than that, it's all good. Love you guys. Well, Will, uh, thanks for being with us tonight. Congratulations on the engagement. I know that happened uh, within the last month or so, right? Yes, sir. It happened May twenty first, I think. May nineteenth. Yeah. May nineteenth. Yep. All right. Well, Will, thanks for being on the show tonight. Uh, I'm yes, going to uh, post a link to the uh, to the group. It's Mets Extremist. I've been talking with Will Button. Um, check back with me, guys, in about uh, two hours or so. The Utopian Baseball Universe report is coming at you uh, about 930 tonight. Uh, for, for everyone here at the Utopian Baseball Universe, uh, have a great night. Thanks, Will. Yes, sir. And uh, we'll see you guys later tonight. Yes. Thank you.